Roger. We're thrilled to have you here, and we're thrilled that you're here in Toronto at University of Toronto and a Canadian. We like to claim Canadians who change the world. So welcome, Roger. Thank you, Heather. You're very kind. And as I said to you in the green room just before we got up, I was astounded at the intelligence inside this book, the approachability of it, the clarity of it. So what we want to do tonight, and, and really I, I cannot over-recommend this book to anybody who has got a little business that wants to make it work, a medium-sized business, or a large business. So what we're going to do is we're going to get you to explain the big five ideas in here, sure. which I think are so powerful. Sure. So let's start with sure. the big ideas. Sure. Well, the, the, I think the, the central theme of the book is that uh, strategy is about choice. Uh, strategy is not about having a plan that's got lots of stuff in it. It's about making some choices, choices to do some things and not others. Uh, and more specifically, it's about five choices uh, that have to link together and be coherent. Uh, choice number one is uh, a choice about what is your winning aspiration. What are you trying to accomplish as, as, a, uh, as an organization, as a firm? Uh, the second choice is where are you going to play? Uh, this is an important choice that I think is often overlooked. So there are lots of, uh, lots and lots of companies that almost treat where they're going to play as, as preordained. And then the question, third, third choice you have to make is how are we going to win? Right? In what way are we going to seek to win where we've chosen to play? Which is basically how are we going to create a better value proposition uh, for our customers? Uh, and then uh, you have to ask the question, what capabilities do we need to build and maintain that will enable us to win, how we've chosen to win, <laughs> where we've chosen to play so we meet our aspirations? And finally, what management systems do we need to put in place in order to have those capabilities on an ongoing basis to win, where we've chosen to win uh, and, and meet our aspirations? And I would say the only thing that's hard about strategy, right? I, the whole book is about making strategy simple, <laughs> Fun and effective. It's mainly viewed as complicated, a chore, and uh, of, of mixed utility. Simple, fun, and effective. It would be absolutely dead simple if you could answer those five questions one at a time and lock and load on. on what it. I thought was so interesting, because you, you were a co-author on this book mm -hmm. with Lafley, who was the former CEO of P&G. You don't get bigger or more exciting. Um, that struck me as so interesting that um, the two of you have been friends for a long time, yes. since uh, early on in your career, um, that unlike many situations where you've got an academic, and I say that with so much respect, an <laughs> academic or a consultant, yes. observing what's going on and then, and then intuiting patterns back okay. is very different from the, and I've been on both sides. You, so you, I, you I, have, uh, absolutely. When you're in the CEO seat, yep. It's a lot messier, and there's a lot more emotional day-to-day -day that ends up influencing more of what you do than not. Yeah. So uh, this book, though, so interestingly, is you put together uh, you know, just a, a world-renowned CEO and a world-renowned strategic thinker. Talk a little bit about how, how your thinking evolved over decades that you worked together, but toward the evolution, and sure. how the, te I mean, was there testing of the ideas and how it worked? I find it most fascinating. Yeah, it, it was awesome. It's been an awesome privilege uh, writing it with AG. He's just a wonderful, lo wonderful, lovely, uh, lovely man. Um, and, I mean, I had, I, I mean, my time at Procter & Gamble had some tortured moments. I actually got fired three times during the time I've, 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 I've worked there. In fact, uh, it in was, a consulting it, capacity. In a consulting right. capacity. So yeah, I got I got uh, fired uh, in eighty six, ninety two, and two thousand. Uh, and in fact, w when AG was appointed, when they fired the previous CEO, and AG was appointed, uh, he phoned me up that night, and, uh, and it was like nine or ten o'clock at night, and he and I got on the phone and he says, AG Laffey here, and I said, oh, hey, hey, AG. And he said, okay, well, here, here's the deal. Uh, are you willing to be an insider? And I said, of course, I never trade the stocks of any company that I've ever had anything to do with. Sure. He said, well, uh, tomorrow it'll be announced that I'm the CEO <laughs> of, of the company. They've let, let go of the previous CEO. Uh, I need a lot of help turning this company around because it had a lot of problems. That's why the CEO was left. Will you, will you uh, can I count on you to work with me on it? Um, so that, so that it was a 
for me, just a marvelous opportunity to, from the very, very start, the verse, you know, before, the day before he was appointed, to say, we have a job to do, turn around this company, will you work with me on it? Um, but, Gillette? But the idea is the five, they predated his becoming CEO, you were already starting, or you actually sort of formed them and articulated them? We articulated. In the course of, in the course of establishing a framework for the company. Absolutely. That was a key thing where we where there were too many things that we said these are all our strengths and no no we said these are the five. Had you worked earlier to articulate that concept? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, most of the most of the the conceptual uh, frameworks in, in in the book uh, actually were from it when I somebody was asking me this it, it was between 1989 and 19 95. So yeah, so those those were all all, all uh, uh, things that that had, I had worked on and developed earlier. But this was a time we could uh, we could uh, really apply them. Right. So it's it's just always a great pleasure and we're very grateful. Thank you. I'm Thank grateful you for the time. Thank you. Thank you for coming.